The offices from European Union, the National Planning Department, Education Department and Morbe Education Division arrived in Bulolo on Wednesday to officiate the groundbreaking ceremony of the new infrastructure development for Bulolo Technical School. This is the phase two program under the partnership between the European Union at a cost of 3.5 million kina. The technical expert heading the EU funded project, Dr. Ben Imbun said, the funding process took almost three years. The European Union's money is uh, more or less qu tightly controlled. Australian money, they cut corners, and not with governance, as you see, they do it because it's a one government, one aid coming. With the European Union, 27 countries put their money together and they want to see accountability. They, because they themselves apply for the money as well, they want fairness, equality, and in bidding and everything. So it goes through a stringent process. How it came in is uh, with the O'Neill government, you know, this Tibet is one of the five pillars of development pillars, rather. So HRDP2 came, European Union came to actually respond to uh, the current government's call for equipping uh, people with skills, particularly kids with skills at the community level. And that's where it seemed to be the most neglected area of government. European Union committed almost 38 million kina towards infrastructure for 10 Tibet institutions in six provinces in the country. For Morobe, EU chose Bulolo Technical School and Umi Vocational Training Center from the eight Tibet institutions in the province to benefit from the HRD Phase 2 program. This was done through the guidance of the National Planning Department, the Education Department and Morobe's Education Division. A number of processes have to take place the project has to, the province have sub, have done a submission and based on those submissions, the school has been selected. So there were 10 centers that were selected. Badili and Morata in National Capital District. We have Bulolo and Umi in Morobe Province. Rabaul and Kabaira in East New Britain Province. Kamaliki in Eastern Highlands. Yawosoro, Isipik province, Pambabus, and Layagam, Enga province. We have uh, two districts yet to have uh, Tibet uh, schools establishment, that is Nawaib and TYCRC under uh, the strategic management uh, plan for Tibet, that every uh, district should have a Tibet institution. Bulolo Technical School currently has 250 students with 20 teachers teaching eight courses. The mechanical engineering students are currently using all tools for skills training. With the infrastructure development by EU, the new buildings will also be equipped with new training tools for the students to use. So for Bulolo, you will have a workshop for carpentry and joinery, a workshop for commercial vehicles, two workshops for mechanical, eight water tanks, two septic tanks, one female ablution block and a male ablution block. With this infrastructure and the amount of money and with everything that is going to be put here, my question to the administration and management is this. Are we going to look after them so that he can be sustained for about another 40 years? Or are we going to just lose them within one or two years? Me ask him district, the division for education, long this kind of system and must stop. That those only got this kind of skills of monitoring, the look out him, uh, all the uh, uh, tools, the equipment he come, also infrastructure in must stop. Julie Badui Owa, National MTV News, Lake.